Ruby, 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 Ruby Soho. Lars himself singing, you know, yeah. the, from Rancid. Good uh, stuff. In the crowd, front row with, you know, watching Ruby Soho versus Nyla Rose. And I got to tell you, man, uh, Nyla Rose dominated this match. It was an outstanding yeah, showing. Yeah. I know there's been kind of the up and down, up and down of nyla you know getting beat quickly or on and off but as as we have said and as we have coined uh i believe crayfish many many months ago has coined this and probably you know we continue to talk about this but you know nyla rose is the gatekeeper of the women's division for a reason and this match tonight showed why you know i think you know she was so fun to watch uh very methodical and aggressive in her offense um she's a very smooth as well and you know it was just a, such a, a great resurgence i feel like you know we haven't really talked that much about nyla you know you know she's a, a pivotal part of the division but we haven't talked too much about her and tonight man you you cannot not talk about her because she she beat ruby soho who is a top tier talent in the women's division in yeah. an impressive way and in an aggressive way in a powerful way and so uh this was uh to me nyla stood out so much and you know I think she's slowly going to just put herself back into the title picture. And, and could you imagine like beast versus beef Nyla versus Jade, you know, for a title match? Uh, I think that's where we're heading. Yeah. I mean, that would be a lot of, a lot of fun to watch. Like if Jade can just power her through and we yeah. saw a lot of great power from Ruby as well. So, I mean, when she picked her up on that, on the apron and dropped her on the apron, I mean, that was an impressive move. Um, oh yeah. And, you know, of course, Vicky Guerrero on the you know ringside is is absolutely money as your always. favorite. <laughs> but, I mean, who stood out? Do you agree with me? How do you feel about this match? Yeah, man, this was a this is a, a showcase for Nyla. I, I feel like, um, and and you can tell, and we've talked about this before. You know, Nyla has her her up and down matches, right? Where you know sometimes she's on point, and you're like, man, like she's as dominant as anybody in this company. Um, and then there's times where she's not. And I think this is one of those matches where it's like, man, you know, everything went perfect. Everything meshed and it was good. Um, and, and, you know, outside of kind of the clunky ending to the match, uh, I thought this was a, a real winner. Um, good stuff. Yeah. Nyla looked great. Uh, one of the best matches she's had in a while, I think, um, as dominant as she's looked in a while. Sure. Um, and, and, you know, I think that, that we also have to remember that Ruby Soho is – when she came in here, man, like she's been put in high pressure situations, like top situations, like title yeah. situations, um, whether it's the TBS tournament or match with Britt Baker pretty much immediately. Um, True. You know, there's a lot of stuff that Ruby's kind of had to go through. And this is a big win for Nyla in that regard, mm-hmm. where it's like, you know, you're getting a win over somebody who's been pushed pretty hard um, since mm-hmm. she's arrived in AEW. And I think that's a testament to, you know, what they think of Nyla as a specific kind of champ, like, or not even champion, a specific kind of wrestler who's just big and strong and can do stuff. And I think that Jade um, is a great opponent, and that's going to be awesome because we're going to finally see that power versus power that I don't think anybody else can replicate in the women's division. I just don't see it. So it's I think that tough. that is, it is definitely tough stuff. Too. No, I agree, man. I, I think this one, you know, Last week's match, women's match with first Layla and Velvet was is was it was, but this one showed what the division can handle and what the division yeah. can hold up to. And I'm glad this got a lot of time. I'm glad this didn't get, get cut too short. And you know, to me, um, now I'm like, where do both women go? Like, I think after this match, like you have the rise of not re rise of Nyla and then Ruby, I'm which like, we kind of been talking about a lot, right? You know, Nyla yeah. kind of has those you know, those currents, you know, or sometimes she'll be at a high point. Other times she won't be. And I hope this is a high point that's going to stick for a little while, you know, kind and of want, like, yeah, you're right. You know, we got to let this stick and, and see where it can go. Because I think that the, the TBS, a, a long feud for a TBS title would be really interesting with Nyla. I right. think that's a, a good idea, especially with Jade as champion. I think that sure. they could have some great matches and, you know, Nyla's experience as well, very experienced. So I think that, Having her go in there, I know, right? Good stuff. <laughs> Almost gone. I might need a refill here pretty soon, SPD. But um, I think they could put on some really good matches, um, especially I'll with, like last week. We got to like acknowledge how awesome Jade looked last week. So, oh yeah, 
you know, if if both of them are riding high on this momentum, I think mm-hmm. that we're going to get some good matches. You know, and I think we, we discussed this last week or the week before, but I feel like Ruby would do so well in a faction, you know, and I, you know, I talked about Crayfish. I was like, you know, throw in uh, Sky Blue in her faction and one other person. And I think you developed to her to lead a faction. I know it's been done before, but it's mm-hmm. it was done right. And I think it can be done right again. And I think you need more of those. You know, AW had so many great factions. I think you, if you develop a, a woman's faction, I think it would be well, work very well. Let's-